Hello everybody, Trano here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Ground Forces prize for the Airborne General Battle Pass, and that is the M55176, which is coming in at rank 4, battle rating 6.7, and unfortunately this is one you'll have to buy to unlock it on the Battle Pass, and it is the very top tier prize at level 75, with a camo unlocked at level 79, and you can see that camo there. Now the main difference between this and the regular Sheridan is this 76mm M32 gun, which comes from the Walker Bulldog. So it's got a two plane gun stabiliser, gunner optics of 8 to 12 times zoom, and it's capable of firing various solid shot shells. So you've got your APBC shell, HE, smoke shell, and your APDS shell with 278mm penetration. Now of course, it fires much faster, it's got a 7.6 second reload rate versus about 15 seconds for the regular Sheridan, but it doesn't come with any heat FS shells. There was some speculation it might get the heat FS shell from the German Walker Bulldog, which to be fair it could have done because that vehicle is at 6.7 as well and that has the heat FS shell, so obviously they've decided not to give it to this vehicle, probably for balancing reasons because this is a ridiculously fast vehicle, it's got a two plane gun stabiliser, I think this is going to be quite successful as it is, I don't think heat rounds would be a massive game changer for it. As for the rest of the vehicle, it is basically the same as the Sheridan. It's got the same armour, it's got the same rotation speed, vertical guidance, same crew, same weight, same top speed of 43 miles per hour. So yeah, this is basically a regular Sheridan, but with a different weapon. And of course, like I said before, it's at a much lower battle rating, where I think it will be a very successful vehicle. So we'll just take it out for a very quick test drive. We're going to equip the APDS shell as standard because I think that's what most people are going to do once they've unlocked it. So also comes with your smoke grenade, so we're just going to fire them off to the right there. Yep, pretty effectively covered ourselves. Still got your top mounted machine gun and your coaxial machine gun. And oh, we're actually against the World War II vehicles here. So uh, yeah, just one shot of Panther D from... Uh, a fair distance there. Probably going to struggle a bit against the Tiger 2. Yeah, especially at the hole. We might get lucky on the turret. We'll just help the uh, top speed in a second. Oh no, uh, we can fire through the turret front at least. So, done some pretty good damage there. And we'll just see how fast we can get. We're on muddy terrain at the moment, but we're already up to 26 miles per hour. Going to have a bit of slowdown. Unfortunately, this vehicle isn't amphibious. I think it was designed to be amphibious, but basically you'd need to set up all the equipment for it, and uh, basically Gaijin have decided that probably wouldn't be practical in-game, which, yeah, fair enough. So on muddy terrain, we're at about 28 miles per hour. Might get a little bit more speed, but probably not too much more. Oh, and we've gone over to the HE rounds. Gone through those APDS rounds a little bit quicker than I expected. So yeah, I'm at the other end of the firing range and we seem to be maxing out. Well, we're not, we might breach 43 miles per hour, but it's going to take a very long time to get to your actual top speed. We'll test it out on the uh, road in a second. Can we quite make it to 43? Yeah, we've made it to 43 miles per hour. We'll test it out on the road very quickly. So yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty good prize like it's always a bit hard to make prizes for the battle pass because of course if you make something that was a really good common vehicle of course people are going to clamor for it to be in the regular tech tree like with some of the i think it was the french ebrs in the past but then if you make it a really bad vehicle of course people are not going to want to unlock it so this is a kind of good common ground it's an effective vehicle it was never accepted into you know mass production this was only a prototype or test bed and so yeah, I think this is the sort of prize I'd like to see in these sort of uh, battle passes. And you can see we get up to our top speed much faster on road. And braking time. Uh, you know, we stopped pretty quickly from 43 miles an hour or so. And there you can see the turret rotation speed. Yeah, pretty fast. So yeah, that was the M55176. So yeah, my overall thoughts. I think this will be a very effective vehicle. Like I say, it's a much lower battle rating, so I think this is going to be absolutely great at that sort of battle rating we saw that the APDS shell can quite easily one shot quite a few tanks including the Tiger 2 and with that fast chassis this is going to be very quick for getting around the battlefield quickly capping points and uh able to get away and then kill any enemies trying to recap or you know just dealing with other enemy flankers and 
even in a stand-up fight, I think you'll do decently well. Although, of course, that isn't its uh, strong point. Anyway, just a quick video looking at the M551-76. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for the next one. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.